hi guys in this video we will get started with NLU so what is NLU and how we can implement it in service now okay. so first of all NLU is natural language understanding which provides NLU model builder and an NLU inference service so what NLU inference service is does to convert machine language into a human understandable form and the other way around okay so if I'm saying what is the status of my ticket it will actually pass on to the machine that what actually a user intended next we will move to NLU terminology the first one is utterance utterance is like how can we express ourselves to service now in different kind of forms by writing so what is the status of my ticket what's the update on my ticket etc okay so these are the utterances how can we speak to the virtual agent okay. next one is intent intent is something we want to express to service now or the virtual agent so what exactly you want for example if I want an access to some application or to some server the intent is getting that access or granting an access okay. next terminology is entity entity is object of or context or an action for example uh, maybe uh, you know a priority level of an incident or a laptop or what exactly is the object in the statement then we have NLU model NLU model is collection of utterances there its associated intents and entities and all of these make a NLU model so we need to follow best practices and understand our requirement what exactly we want to achieve so that builds up a NLU model so after all this let's get started with building a basic NLU model okay first you will have to activate some plugins they are not activated out of the box so you actually have to go in and activate that you will have to search for NLU and you can see one of the plugins called NLU common model you have to activate this one the next one is NLU builder model so you have to uh, activate this as well NLU model builder core and if you want to take a, uh, take some reporting how is it actually working what's the performance you can activate NLU model builder performance analytics as well we'll come to that later and NLU model for virtual agent setup topics okay so these are some out of the box topics if you want to activate them as well and you after this you should be able to uh, use NLU service in your service now okay. next thing you want to do is go to collaboration go in virtual agent then in general settings and you can see a tab here called NLU settings you have to switch on this toggle bar enable NLU in virtual agent and this will bring up couple of options okay so I have activated Louis uh, plugin as well if there is IBM Watson you can use that as well but we'll be using ServiceNow NLU which is the native functionality of ServiceNow and save this and next we have to build a model okay so I'll go to studio I'll click on studio and I will create a new application I will name it as my first NLU model okay and I will say create and it will go ahead and create a new custom application and you can see here a button continue in studio okay so I will not uh, go from here because I don't have to create new roles and or anything I'll just go into studio and just get started with my application you see a new blank app 
application uh, is created I'll go ahead and create a new application file and I will say NLU and you can see NLU model here I will create it I will name it as my first model you see a new model has been created now what we have to do is create intents and the entities if you want any and vocabulary if you want any okay the first one is the intent I will give intent maybe as you create ticket if the user intends to create a ticket the NLU model will identify through these utterances that user actually wanted to create a ticket so I will have some utterances under this maybe uh, I want to create a ticket so this is the first utterance the user can type something else as well so we can have multiple utterances under here I guess the best practice should be 40 to 50 utterances for a single intent and it cannot go beyond that next I can have um, facing some issues so it might be a possibility that user wants to create an incident if he's facing some issues maybe we can have a couple of more uh, utterances I want to create an incident next one could be incident creation and so on and you can see the next tab here associated entities if you want to create any entities so on whatever word I want to create an entity I can select that maybe I can select incident and I will create entity on this and I will name it as ticket and you can see here a checkbox called model availability so this ensures this entity is available throughout all the models which you create so I will keep it as it as it is now and you can see there are multiple types of entities simple list pattern and system derived we can discuss these in details in next video right now I will select simple so you see a new entity has been created one thing uh, to note is that whenever you create an intent a hashtag is automatically added in front of the intent and as soon as you create an entity add the red symbol is added in front of that okay so if I want to create additional entities for this word only I can maybe have on issues and I will select this and I will select the existing one you can see in these two utterances this particular entity exists and you can add as many entities as you want next is train button so I ha I'm training my model now and it has been trained successfully I will test this the testing window appears right next to that I will write some in utterance to test this okay so at first screen actually if you go here and see the properties you can see the confidence threshold is 60% so if my model found 60% of the match with the utterances which I have defined it will show a match so let's try this and even you can modify so best practices from service now is 60% I can say um, maybe something similar or something which, which is not matching create a request 
and I will press enter so it matches only 47 percent so it this topic will not show up when somebody types in create a request I will try with create an incident and you can see it's a uh, it's uh, 83 percent match and with the entity it's 100 percent match ticket so ticket is the entity okay and this is how we actually create a model and train it and we if we publish it it will be available for us to select in topics in next videos we will take an example of NLU model and how can we actually use them in in our topics and we will test them out in a actual virtual agent demo I wanted to keep this video short and only to introduce NLU we will have more details in next videos thank you for watching this video guys have a great day